In the before times, there was no pandemic, no Chilliwack tonight, and no in the before times. Now, with government phase two pandemic strategy being rolled out, people are cavorting in the streets. There's no Jeff as he's in contract negotiations with John Wayne. And so you're going to have to watch a highlights and behind the scenes reel of Chilliwack tonight. Almost live from Chilliwack, it's Chilliwack tonight. Join Barris and Jeff and their special guests. And uh, one other bit of news though, the pandemic is over. Woo! It's over, it's done. I'm gonna slather some sunscreen and hit to a crowded beach and what, what, high five all my friends and stop, play a little beach volleyball. Stop, you're, you're... That Facebook crowd, they're, they're, they're a nasty bunch sometimes. I mean, you, you, you're trying to build the Facebook followers, but then at the same time, uh, they're a bunch of ingrates. Don't you think they're like, they're, in, they're ingrates. A lot of my friends ask me how the kids and I are doing, and... The pandemic is not over. Bonnie Henry says we're good, did you? No, I, I, she Someone told me that. that. I would look into it, if you're gonna have that opinion. I got reservations at a, at a restaurant, don't I? Oh good, well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, see how you're feeling. Whackwood. So how Whackwood works is, I read a word. Yes. Jeff tries to guess what the meaning of that word is. Yes. And if he can't guess, I, I use it in a sentence to help him out. Yeah. All right, great. So let's start. Penia phobia. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we told the kids to leave the room. I got a word for you. Bum fuzzle. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I, oh. Uh, okay, um, okay, I think I know this word. Uh, I'm just gonna ask uh, for parents, any kids watching right now, get them out of the room. <laughs> In the before times, salad bowls were used as delicious fresh meal alternatives. Now we use the bowls as templates for stylish, homemade haircuts. In the before times, I never got a haircut. Wait a second. Well, I Still haven't gotten a haircut. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought I would come in and uh, steal your show there, Barrett. In the before times, yeah. we used to allow people to steal our show. Now, <laughs> we don't. Tales from the Quarantine with Nancy Sigga. What did you just call me? Did you call me Nancy Cigar? Like, I've been called many different names during the years. Somebody once called me Nancy Piano, like that is- Tales from the Quarantine, with Nancy Sigga. Chilliwack tonight, oh my gosh, can you feel the energy? Chilliwack tonight. Chilliwack. Tonight. Chilliwack tonight. Oh. Chilliwack tonight. Woo. Chilliwack tonight. Welcome. Chilliwack tonight. Welcome. Chilliwack tonight. Oh, we, we were right on on that. I don't think we've ever been so dead on. Taras Groves is the director of the Chilliwack Independent Film Festival. He's also a writer and film director. His latest film is Flight of the Dodo, and it was filmed in Chilliwack. We hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. You, you, okay, hang on, hang on. The, 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 these people that are liking us, I like that. I think that's great. Yeah. But then there's a whole other group that are following us, but they're not liking us. <laughs> so what I'm wondering is, why the heck are they following us? Huh? They're just, Why do people do that? They follow being, you, but they don't like you? Who's following you and they don't like you? Don't Makes worry no sense. About it. They're just being non-committal, that's all. I, think that's I don't like that. I think that's very non-committal. Is this something I need to know? And where's that cup of tea? Oh, yeah. uh, give us what are you a... talking about? What weather guy? Oh, you weren't in on that conversation. Yeah, he's a new guy we're putting in the show tonight. He's the weather well, guy. Well, I, I thought I was at the table that we made these decisions. Well, what, most most decisions. But... Weather guy? It, this is this is a late night talk show. This is not the news. What do you? He's what do you... really good with weather. Trust me. 
what a weekend indeed. Turns out, that's Uncle Steve who had left the message. At least that's what Liam told me. Who's Uncle Steve, Margaret? Who's Uncle Steve? This guy needs help. He needs help. He needs marriage counseling or something like some that. He just needs some support. Some support. Not on friend. this show, though. Didn't why? <laughs> I'm talent. You're the talent you're the talent that I'm talent. Yeah, we well, really know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. gonna provide. No, 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 no. Is this? It's not that kind of word. Excruciating it's, detail. It's right not now. that kind of word. Bum fuzzle. happy that the kids are just so great. They're so great. I mean... Oh, well, our first guess is uh, the mayor, Ken Popoff. What? Yes. The mayor? <laughs> How did you get the mayor on the show? You're, this is a brand new show. We, hey. we're, we're super successful. We ha we've had the mayor on in a cameo one time. In the before times, I used to go to the mall just to hang out. No, wait. That was the 80s. You think I wouldn't recognize Chilliwack, B.C.? Well, that's a vision I could do without. So I backed out of there as quick as I could. Didn't have to worry about making any noise. Their hearing aids are sitting right there on the kitchen table for crying out loud. Tell us a little bit about 89.5 The Drive. What, what kind of a radio station do you call yourselves? Classic hits. What does that mean? Sadie, are you, did you want to answer that? <laughs> sure. I think classic hits is a, it's a hit that uh, is... Classic, as it were. <laughs> do you want to talk you, about that? Not really, but you know, yeah, I know what you're talking well, about. Well, I don't want to talk about it either. Yeah. Should we just leave it unsaid? Well, we could. You could probably guys say the guy's name and. Okay. Well, we gotta we gotta be careful because uh, apparently, uh, you know, our legal department has said, don't say too much. Yes. So we're gonna say two words: Barry Newfeld. This is called Amelia, Kyla Pierce, Chilliwack tonight. There's something wrong with Barris. There's a big wide uh, black strip in between us. Oh, Gotta keep us separated. Keep us separated. <laughs> Is a Chillark school trustee. <laughs> You're a very busy man, Bradley. I know that uh, you, everyone thinks that you're the maestro of Corona Oki, and you are, but you actually have a daytime job as well. Tell us a little bit about your daytime job. It's just, you know, lots of hugging and lots of uh, kind words to one another. Facebook, I, I did mention what a nasty crowd they were last week. And you know what? I, I, I meant that in the nicest way. He didn't like the who, which I love, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey, so I just don't understand his problem with the who. Uh, you're never going to guess what happened. What happened? They started writing us letters. <laughs> oh, we've, got a, we've got a very good show this week. You don't want to go there, do you? No, I no? really want to avoid it. When something like this happens, like, you know, you know, our age, you wake up and there's some malady or pain or something. And every time now, initially, we're just thinking that this is the virus. You know, you'd wake up and, you know... And I couldn't breathe through my nose. And I'm like, oh my God, do I go to the hospital? And it's just like... <laughs> so here's one. I love watching your show and how you promote local talent. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Any thought on trying out some new hosts? <laughs> <laughs> She's got a whack word for us. Oh. Gobdow. Gobdow. Wow. Never heard of that before. G-O-B-D-A-W. Gobdow. Uh, in a sense, he says... Uh, Barris and Jeff, you are both quite gobbed out. And that's why we appreciate your being able to put the show together so well. Use it in a sentence. Look at that snollygoster. Is that a good hint? Sounds like a noun. So you are describing a person, place, or thing. Calls? Anybody call? No. Uh, I, we, I think someone, we got a message uh, on Facebook. I think yeah. it said, what are you doing? I am 
overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, I, I'm touched. It's just uh, I just looked amazing. it up. What does that Paris. mean? Paris, yeah. I just looked it up. Oh, yeah, what does it mean? Gobbed out. Ignoramus. You need to push your shoulder over a little bit. The other way. Other way. I'm really, really grateful for that. You know, I couldn't ask for better kids at all. We were really, really happy with the fact that Tamahai is choosing our show to debut the first single from their new album. So Jeff uh, Bonner and Tazy Taylor a little later in the show tonight. Oh, I get it. inside or, or almost a cleaning because you see it gets in the lungs and it does a tremendous number in the lungs so it'd be interesting to check that so that you're gonna have to use medical doctors with but it sounds it sounds interesting to me it's our month anniversary we're wow. celebrating our month anniversary you thought lovely. I would forget that's good I mean I like that you like Thanks that so much for what what are you doing I was gonna wipe it off with a well, like you don't try, I don't have, I don't have any germs. What do you like to go in off and on, off and on, but not consistent, right? Then it came to me. <laughs> we're passing trees and the trees were blocking the lights. <laughs> I heard the audio last week. There were some issues. No, there but... were no issues. I mean, how can there be issues when we're using top of the line quality? Can you hear me, Jeff? Can say, you hear me? Say it again. It's not working. Whoa. Oh, I hope, uh, I hope this is something you're going to need. It's a bit tough. There we go. You like that? I, Barris, I just wiped the wipes with wipes. I know. So in essence, you wasted a wipe. You were talking about your plans for, uh, for Netflix and all that. And I was going to say, hey, that was my plan. Why are you stealing my idea? I, I don't think you have an exclusive on that, Barris. I think you you take the food out of this one. Oh, I didn't realize you had to actually uh, empty the cans. Well, I like to keep it fresh for the kids. What are you feeding your kids? Well, uh, Alpha Getty, and what have you got? The uh, Chef Boyardee or something, Spaghetti. right? Spaghetti. It's it's in a can. It's not nutritious. I, I admit it's not nutritious. In the four times I used to juggle the mortgage, two car loans, and the minimum payments on four credit cards. Now repayment is optional. Thank you, Justin. In the before times, Justin Trudeau was a clean-shaven person with neatly quaffed. Prime Ministerial head of hair. Now, he's hot. An original song from Parliament of Owls. It's called the Vacation Song. It's one of my favorite that I've written so far in my career. Awesome. Take it away. The sun knocks at my doorstep. I'm not ready to leave. I don't know if I'll ever be ready to go back home. Okay, here we go. Uh, Barris and Jeff, now that pot is legal, do you smoke it? Because it seems like you do. <laughs> In the before times, my children would ask me, Daddy, what can I be when I grow up? And I would say, anything you desire, as long as you stay in school, study hard, and do your best. Now, when they ask me, I say, go get me a beer. Anyway, my fans do not appreciate that you cut me off mid-sentence. If you continue to do so, they're going to boycott this show. I have to give people a warning. Don't blink or you're gonna miss Tales from the Quarantine with Nancy Sigaha. And now we're gonna let the music do all the talking. Ladies and gentlemen, Sigler.
Never again. Ever. You're never working in this industry again. Okay. No. Definitely have an audio upgrade. Now, bigger, right? Bigger is better. Hello. Yes. Can Wait you hear that? See? Can you imagine you're in a bar with some friends and you're having a drink and you look over your buddy and you go, geez, Barris, you're looking a little bit off today. What's wrong? I'm bum fuzzled. Totally bum fuzzled. I'm totally bum fuzzled. Words we will never use in a sentence again. They're whack words, though. <laughs> whack They're words. They're whack words. Um, I'm just really, really, really happy that I can be here with my family at this time. And um, yeah. So just thank you for everything. Thank you for asking. Now, I hang out the window banging a pot and pan at seven o'clock with my neighbors before streaming the latest episode of Chilliwack Tonight! Tonight!